everybody, what's going on? I'm excited to see all of you back here for another wild adventure as we discover that God has a purpose for each of us. And this episode, we're finally making our way to Tumbleweed Canyon to meet this mysterious ranger. who said he would help us get the mayor of Rowdy Town and the railroad tycoon, Harry Morgan. We left Dead Man's Fork last episode and made our way through Armadillo Valley. All that's left is to make the final trek to Tumbleweed Canyon. Now, if none of that makes any sense to you, you're probably watching the wrong episode. Just head back to the first episode of Way Out West and you'll get all caught up. Don't worry, we'll still be here waiting for you when you come back. Now, we best be careful. That mayor's son, the bandit, was let out of jail in the last episode. So that means he can be on our tail. Now that we're through, Armadillo Valley. Let me check the map to see where we go next. And, uh-oh, I plumb forgot where I left the map. Now, I know y'all ain't rangers no more on account that the mayor of Rowdy Town done took my sheriff hood away, but would you mind helping me look for my map? It's got to be here somewhere on this trail. Oh, you see it? Great. Let me take a good hard look at it. Oh, I got it. We just got to pretend to walk in place and Tumbleweed Canyon will appear in the next scene of this here YouTube video like magic. It'll be like some smooth transition. Maybe we can add a ripple effect or something that'll show the transition of time. <laughs> they may have gotten through Amarillo Valley without triggering those mines, but they won't make it past my dynamite trap. <laughs> What's that now? A dynamite trap? You said the bandit is going to set up a dynamite trap? Golly, that could be a real bad thing. We'll have to be extra careful when making our way to Tumbleweed Canyon. Let's walk real quiet like, like this. Can you do that with me? Now, try walking like this. Come on, you can do it. All right, now let's try walking like this. Come on, you can do it. Get that horse you going. We made it with nary a hiccup. Now, let's be on the lookout for that mysterious ranger who can help us save the people of Rowdy Town. You two might have made it to Tumbleweed Canyon, but I won't let you get back to Rowdy Town. Surrender now, or I can promise it'll blow up in your faces. You've been warned. If I had to guess, he planned that note for me to find. But I don't think he meant for us to find the telegram that was stuck to it. Let's see what it says. Buck, how could you let them make it to Tumbleweed Canyon? I'm shipping two extra crates of dynamite to you. Take care of it once and for all. 
You better make sure they don't get back to Rowdy Town, or you'll be the one who pays. I don't like the sound of them apples. Extra dynamite. I think we should skedaddle back to Rowdy Town. What do you mean? Uh, give me one good reason why we shouldn't go back. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. You know something? Even when I'm feeling like things are rotten to the core and I feel like I'm ready to quit, God always has a plan and it's good. There's a story I'd like to tell you and here's how it goes. God's people, the Israelites, had a really hard time believing and trusting that God wanted to make their life good. And wouldn't you know it, they let fear get in the way of all the good things that God had for them. You see, there was this land way out yonder that God promised to give them. The Israelites had never been there before, so they didn't rightly know what to expect. Figuring they should sneak a peek, Moses sent Joshua, Caleb, and ten other fellows to go in and take a look. But well, once the men got to the promised land, they could not believe their eyes. By golly, this place was the best thing they had ever seen. They saw that there were big old grapes, so large that it took two of them to carry just one branch. And the land, whoo-wee, it was so perfect that they said that it was even flowing with milk and honey. They loved all that they were seeing, but there was just one tiny problem. Well, I guess you'd say it was a big problem. There were some mighty tall and powerful people living in there. That's right. These people were taller than a West Texas cactus and meaner than a two-headed rattlesnake. Not the kind of people you want to mess with, I'm here to tell you that right now. Now the 12 men, they hightailed it out of there and went back to Moses to tell them what they saw. Well, 10 of the men told Moses that the land was as good as it gets, but they sure were scared. They couldn't see any way that their lives would be good with such giants living there with them. They were saying all kinds of nonsense about looking like wee little grasshoppers compared to those people, and they might as well not even bother with them. But then there were two other men, Joshua and Caleb. Now they had a different story to tell. They told Moses all about the good things in the land, and they had the faith and believed that because God had promised them a good life, that they could have it. They told everyone they shouldn't be afraid because God was with them. But when the Israelites heard the report, they were still scared and shaking in their boots. And even though this was God's plan for them all along, they let their fear get the best of them and decided not to go into the land. Mm, mm, mm. All of that belly aching, it didn't go well for the Israelites. Do you know they had to wander around for another 40 years before they could enter into the promised land? That's a mighty long time to wait, wouldn't you say? I bet the minute they got in there though, they were a hooping and a hollering, happy as a horse fly. You know, even when the going does get tough, we can know that God really does make our life good. When we trust in Him and we do what He says, well, we can experience all the good things He has planned. And that's something you can tip your hat to. Well, the going is surely going tough, but we know God cares about us. Man, that guy does a good job telling stories around the campfire. Uh, like Joshua and Caleb, we can trust that God makes our lives good too. That's what today's Need to Know is all about. Let's all say this together. God makes my life good. Let's say it again. God makes my life good. Now that we know the need to know, let's use that to help us locate the mysterious ranger. You keep a lookout for some guy on a horse off in the distance, all majestic like. Okay, 
you all can head over with Playster McGamers for a Wild West duel. I'm gonna go have a chat with that mysterious ranger. Not to worry, it'll be real simple. You see, there's this little armadillo wearing a cowboy hat that Playster McGamerson likes to release into the wild. You need to hop on your trusty pretend horse and chase him down. Just make sure you lean left and right to avoid the cactus and the other obstacles. Good luck. Billy is on the run. Saddle up and help us catch him. Lean this way or that way to steer. Let's go. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Hooray! We did it! We caught up with Billy the Bandit. Get those lassos ready. Welcome back. And good news, the mysterious ranger said he would help us. He already knows what the bandit is going to do and has set up a sabotage to his plan. Here, take a look. This'll get him. Whoa! That's it. It just ain't worth getting blown to pieces. Sorry, Dad. I quit. <laughs> the mysterious ranger replaced the bandit's real dynamite with fake dynamite. <laughs> He's been caught and put away with his bad deeds and everything. He got a little dusty with it, too, but nary a scratch is on him. Now, we must make our way back to Rowdy Town with the mysterious ranger to stop Mayor Rowdy once and for all. Before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray together. God, thank you for helping us see that you have such a special purpose for each one of us. Help us to choose to do what you say this week. We thank you and we love you. In your name we pray, amen. All right, I sure hope you come back for our last episode of Way Out West. We're heading back to Rowdy Town to stop the mayor and that railroad tycoon once and for all. Remember, to find anything related to Way Out West, just check out our Instagram page at Soul City Kids. Have your parents follow us there. They can even subscribe to this here YouTube video. And give this video a like. I'll tell you what, YouTube loves it when we like these here videos. Have a rootin' tootin' good day, and we'll see you next time. Headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, baby.